Hi and welcome to this video. I've had a request from uh, one of my channel members uh, on what software I use to record my YouTube videos and what software I use to edit them. Well basically I use one software which is called Camtasia Studio 6 and uh, it's pretty simple to use. You have to pay for it, so obviously it's not a free version um, but it's all under one roof really. I can just uh, quickly record my videos and quickly do a simple edit. I don't want to do fancy wipes and all that sort of stuff like you get with Sony Vegas, I haven't got the time for it. So I use this bit of software. So you've got your record screen there, it's pretty straightforward really, you've seen all this anyway. But um, the first thing I do is import a file, like so. And uh, what I want to do really is, I just want to make a, I just want to actually make a batch um, so I don't have to keep changing the settings like a preset okay so what I do next is uh, go next and then I hit preset manager okay and then from there as you can see I've got my setting there so I put it on HD and I'm sort of like go new okay now you need to make your uh, preset name at this point, call it what you like, my YouTube settings or whatever you like, okay, we'll just call it YouTube setting, like so, and just down there you can do the same thing, it doesn't really matter, you just, just a, and then make sure you've got QuickTime Movie installed on your PC, because that's what we're going to be using, because we're going to be using high definition, okay, so make sure you've got that ticked there, and that's all we need on there, go next, now we need the quick time options so go into quick time options and then from there we're going to go into our settings okay make sure you got the top compression type is h264 like so which is by default normally um, make sure this frames is set to 30 like so you can set it for what you like really but that's what I set mine to um, you can start doing all over here, a bit 30 over here, restrict to 30, but I mean, you don't have to. Leave it to automatic, it will take control of it. Um, I have mine set to high, and I have best quality multi-pass. Okay. And then I go OK. Don't worry about filter, there's nothing in there that you need to change. Size. I have mine set to... 1280 by 720 like so click OK sound come into your sound and what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got stereo selected on this pull down bar here you want to make sure you've got that on 48 like so then come into options before you say OK come into options leave that as it is all up there change this one to 48 and then change better to best okay click OK that's to improve your sound once you render on this program your sound will be so clear and loud it's going to be uh, exactly what you want now I never used to do that in the beginning but I do now and it sounds a lot better so leave all the rest like that click OK then go next um, this is where you can change your settings basically 1280 by 720 like so whatever background colour you want I leave mine black it's no biggie there just leave it as it is and this is where you add your watermark so if you want to add a watermark and you've got one prepared just basically put a tick in the watermark if you want a little watermark on there yeah go options and then browse for your watermark okay so if you if that's what you want there's my watermark and this is where you actually change you can see it grayed out there you can have a like a translucent one if you want the opacity or you can make it darker whatever you feel like I mean I have mine at about 20, 75 I think which is not so dark it's, it's dark so it's not and I have that about 25 like so depending on the size you or what size you want 
it's all up to you really and then that's it click finished and there we have our YouTube setting click close and we're done okay so we don't need to process this now so we can actually push cancel at this stage because now we've got our preset made we don't have to do that anymore so now we've got our video in we're gonna I'll show you the things that I do to make my video work so now I what I do is I come down to my tube presets you see just change it to YouTube setting yeah click OK so there we have out now look at the sound it'll be a bit it might be you might get sound where you're getting popping noises where you're talking like P's and S's and it all sounds really funny in the mic we can level all that out with the uh, audio so even out the sound volume you can either have it medium I have mine high so it's really loud and do that click OK now it's evened it all out and then just click on this bit to make it go back to beginning then I'll just do me zoom and pan really uh, click on zoom and pan and this is where you can actually change all your settings so I can zoom into this bit of a uh, video so no fancy stuff like Sony Vegas is pretty a lot more work all I need to do now is just click on this zoom in like so move the cr green cross down or green square down and I'm happy with that Let's just move on to the next bit like so and at this stage I'm probably talking about the website so make that zoomed and drag it up there so you'll see me talking about the website address like so and my cursor's up there now and then bring it back down to the downloads part because I'm probably talking about I've done this video already as you can guess and then um, talking about the downloads just show a picture of where you're downloading it's all do this yourself you don't need me to show you what to do you're probably going to know more than me so basically and you can see the little uh, pan and zooms happening down the bottom here you can delete these if you've made a mistake and just zoom in to the next bit and this will all be smoothed out once it's rendered okay so don't worry about any sort of jerkiness that you're doing now and erratic movements it's sort of all leveled out and uh, just leave that going as I do there so just keep an eye on what I'm looking at if you get lost you can play the video just to make sure you're in the right place and it's just, you see how quick it's sort of happening really it's happening pretty quick whereas if you was on Sony Vegas you wouldn't be editing it this fast and that's pretty much when you're recording try to keep things steady on the screen you know what I mean don't in in one place keep them central so you know when you're panning and zooming when you come to edit it it's all done you can see when I've been recording this video I've kept the square in the middle so I know I haven't got to start zooming about all over the screen all that follow auto follow zoom and pan is just no good mate it just drives me nuts and that's about it really what I'll do then is I'll click finish and then I'm going to produce my video I need to put my YouTube settings go next put your title in there go test and then go next and finish and then it will render like